Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome. I'm going to get the live chat. Hello, sus. Happy Sunday. Let me see if I can get it to come up on the screen. Who do we have? Hello, hello, Mrs. Q. Happy Sunday. Okay. Y'all be safe. Be safe. Safe travels to Mr. Q. Hello, Purse Delighted. Hello, Roslyn. Y'all, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to tell you what I've been doing for the last hour. But I'm going to tell you so we can get right into it. So, this week, I had contractors in the house. And I needed to move bags and accessories so that they had access to the area where they were working because it was running over and I didn't want anything to go missing. So I've taken stuff to the basement. I've taken stuff upstairs to my office. I've got a little bit of stuff everywhere. So as I am putting things away, I had staged the um, items for the next two lives, or three lives rather, that I wanted to cover. So one was last week, so that left two weeks of remaining items that I kind of set up so that I knew what I was going to talk about because sometimes I come on and I'm really prepared and then sometimes not so much in that I've just figured out what I was going to talk about right before I come on. So anyway, I have this coach bag and it's I've started um, putting accessories in it from a couple of different deliveries, couple different hauls. So I've got all that stuff and I decide, you know what, I don't have a really good place for this, but I do have an empty coach box. Let me just consolidate all of that into one coach box, like the large size there and just leave it in in place right so if, if i consolidate put the top on it sit something else on top of it maybe it will survive without anything walking off right so it's um 5 45 and i know what i want to talk about but it's not where it's supposed to be because i had to move things around and so i start going to the places where i knew i had moved stuff to no bag. I'm down in the basement. I'm back upstairs. I'm in the duty vault. I'm in my bedroom. I'm in the two guest bedrooms. I, I am all over this house looking for the coach bag that had the items stored in them because they had been stored in a bag right here. So, no items. So now I'm starting to think, did I take my eyes off of the contractors? Like, did I? Okay, I was on a conference call, but where did you take the call? Did you go upstairs or downstairs and leave the contract? Like, I'm just processing all of this. Meanwhile, we're getting further and further and further away from 6 o'clock today. So I sit down and I'm like, let me just check the cameras. So I get, sit down to look at the cameras and realize I don't even know what Monday's date was. So I have to find a, you know, get my calendar situated on my phone and stuff. And I go back. And so as the contractors were in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, I'm watching every single one of those you know, um, videos until they leave, no bags. So I'm like, okay, if they didn't walk out of this house, then that means they are in this house. And I continue to look until it dawned on me 
I took them out of the bag, put them in a box, and said to myself when I did it, self, you are going to forget where you put this damn box. <laughs> and sure enough, I did. And in that moment, I realized I am no longer looking for a coach bag. I am looking for a box. And the box was right there the entire time with last week's bag sitting on top because I knew I would remember what I talked about last week. So all I'm going to say is it ain't easy getting older. All right, y'all. So <laughs> that's the lead up for tonight. So... If you have not already hit the thumbs up, please do so. I do have accessories. This life is not over. But I felt like I needed to share that. They say that, you know, confession is good for the soul. And maybe one day I'll go back and watch this and it will be funny. But tonight, it, it was not. But I wanted to share. <laughs> All right. So... I do have some accessories that I have um, picked up and that I want to share. But the first thing I want to do is officially reveal a uh, another birthday gift from one of my tribe sisters. And for those of you that have followed me on Instagram, you have already seen this before. Um, because I posted it back, I think in December, right around my birthday, um, with a Rosanna in chestnut. But this is a Patricia Nash sunglass case, and it is in the uh, design of the English Garden Map. And this was a birthday gift from my tribe sister, Suz What. And it goes perfectly with my chestnuts, my naturals. Um, it goes well with my reds, with my uh, lemons, dandelions. It goes well with my leaf, with sage. Uh, I, I don't have sage. With leaf with um, grass, it goes perfectly with all of those. So it is an absolute gorgeous accessory. And I love the fact that it has the mat on it because says has hurt for me over the past year how much I have really missed my uh, travels both personally and for work. So it reminds me that the world is still out there and that things at some point are going to get to a point where I can return to travel and hopefully that's not too far away. So I wanted to share that. So that is the first accessory. So thank you again, Suz, for all of the beautiful birthday gifts. So as I continue to do my videos and stuff since I didn't do an actual uh, birthday haul or birthday gifts video. We're going to just, I'm just going to throw them in throughout the year uh, just to celebrate. All right. The next item is one of my coach favorites. And it had been a minute since any new colors popped up, but they did. Um, and they actually had three new colors. They actually had a fourth color, but I let that one get away from me. Um, but this is a double zip wallet, and this is in the color butterscotch. So, I guess I could. is a really okay that is showing up true to color I had to reset up 
or set the lights back up in here. So this actual, this setup might be better because this is coming up true to color on camera. So what would I pair this with? So it would definitely go with your natural Florentines. It pulls the color, the folding mustard yellow orangey colors here. So you can kind of see how that contrasts against natural and saddle might be. I could also see this paired. That's an odd color. I don't know that I have much or anything in my collection. Um, hmm. It's too dark. It's definitely not gonna pair with like yellows or pops of color, but I do like it. It has some undertones of both orange and brown. Yeah, I do like this. I just don't know what I'll put it with. I need to go through my accessories and pull and see what I have Oh, Roslyn, that's a good, that's a good one. Um, I think the bag's in the basement. That's a good one. I'll check. That may be perfect to go with the color block courier. That's a good one. And I have some other solid accessories already picked out to go with that one. So this could be the wallet in there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, so says it's suggesting blue and purple. So looking at the color wheel that that should work. Okay. It does. It's got some maybe golden undertones, but it's like a orangey brown. They got a good, they gave a really good description of this one because it really is a butterscotch color. So I, I'll figure it out, but I do believe Rosalind is on to something with the color block courier. For those that pick that up and maybe have been struggling to find an accessory to pair with it, I do think this one will work with it. The other one that I picked up is in Boysenberry. see that that is showing up true to color plums plum wines bordeaux crimson it would be gorgeous with like a yellow or red and purple or a chalk i love this color so this butterscotch and boysenberry, these were two of the uh, newer colors. And I thought I had another one. Yeah. All right. And this one is called Redwood. It's giving me saddle, dark saddle, chestnut vibes all day. Like that, I, I don't know 
know if I see red in this one, but I definitely see brown. So if they were going for wood, as in maybe a red wood tree, then they nailed this one as well. It does feel like it has a little bit of a golden undertone to it. Maybe. It's a ready brown. It is a red brown. So red wood, boysenberry, and butterscotch. Colors. I'm going to say you can see the color difference. See, that one does look more mustard golden color compared to this redwood brown. Are y'all seeing gold in this one too? It feels like it's giving undertone sheens of like gold or maybe a little bit metallic. Or do I need to have my eyes checked when I go to the doctor for my memory? <laughs> um, I don't know, but I like it. I like all three. I like all three. All right. So the next thing that I picked up is... A Nolita. And DJ King is going to the enabler corner for this one because she pointed it out. And of course, I had to have it. And then I sent out the messages um, and then later posted it on Instagram. And I know that there were a few of you that picked this one up. And it is a Nolita 19, and this is in uh, 1941 Red Multi and Oxblood. So just so you can kind of get a feel for the Oxblood versus the Boysenberry. That almost looks dark chocolate on the back. But compared to Redwood... And then compared to butterscotch, it says oxblood, but this looks like a dark chocolate on camera. And then compared to the boysenberry, definitely more purple vibes. But this one still looks really dark, even under the lights. I could see using this maybe as a catch-all um, inside a bag and as a wallet. Or this could serve as a grab-and-go by itself because it does have a little leather shoulder strap it doesn't have the chain on this one but this is also a really good grab and go and it does have a wristlet strap so i love the appliques on here and then the little gold bows it's just different and mono's beauty showed hers during her birthday haul so if you've not been over to check out her birthday haul. Um, you go check that out. And she posted pictures uh, from uh, her brother's wedding. And she used this as uh, one, as I think it was as her handbag. So there's that. Love it. Now, um, this pink. Just because so many of the others have like 
inks in the background or rather in the like the centers that's not a big deal because it's not the dominant color so that's that one and then the next item So I looked at this a couple of times and when it first released, I literally was in store, picked it up, and then when I realized that there was not a discount on it, that they really were looking for full price, I put it back. And fast forward a few weeks later, I'm back in store and they were having a sale and I thought it would be perfect to go inside some of you know i have a orchid or violet one of the two um so it would work inside that bag again bordeaux's oxbloods crimson's um dandelion and then any of the browns because this is kind of a a dark almost terracotta color so you can kind of see from a color comparison standpoint. Maybe not so much this one, but it does help show it balances out the uh, contrast in the camera so you can see the true color. And then the redwood. So you can see that it's definitely, this is definitely not a brown this is so this is uh anna or did they call this one hayden what did i it was wrapped so i'm looking for a ticket i think they were calling this one Mm, I was wrong. Okay, so they're calling this one the Letter Varsity Strap Foldover. And it's in the color Terracotta Electric Pink Multi. It's item number 2632. Again, 2632. And then the color code is I is in Indigo, M is in Mary, R is in Robert. The number six and B as in Bravo. There's that. And whether as a small crossbody, a grab and go piece, or as I plan to use it just as a wallet, I think this one is going to go with a lot of different um, bags. You've seen them on my channel before. Slip on the back snap closure it has the hardware so it uh, a strap attaches it does come with a matching strap but if you have any of the coach replacement straps or like the chain straps you could easily add that on and change the vibe of this one quite a bit it does have a front zipper so if you were looking to maybe store some cash and keep that secure and then on the inside, it has a slip, an open space, so that's great for your phone. And then I think that's eight card slots, so it has a built-in wallet for like your ID and your debit or credit card or insurance cards, those kinds of things, so that you can keep the essentials on you. So I'm glad they finally came to their senses and dropped the price down on this one because when I first looked at it, I think they... Maybe it was on sale, but I think they wanted uh, 106 or 110 for it. And I ended up paying like 48 bucks for it. So, and it's regular or they've got 250 on the tag, but y'all know how coach rolls. So that's that one. And what else do we have? Last one 
for tonight is another Nolita, and this one is in Heather Gray. And I picked this one up on coachoutlet.com. And I thought this one would go well in my charcoal gray pieces from MCM. It would go well in my gray pieces from Judy and Burke. I also thought that it might work um, well. I've got a gray, what is it, uh, metropolitan tote that could either be an oversized satchel, which is how I intend to use it or intended to use it, or it could uh, double as a travel piece, and this would work on the interior. So this one is T Metallic Applique Nolita 19, and it's item number 24957. Again, 24957, and the color code is D is in David, K is in King, H is in Harry, G is in George, R is in Robert. So D K H G R. So Oh. All right, so there's the Heather Gray. I like this one. Look at that. So where these are leather and the bows are um, made out of whatever the hardware, not the hardware, the um, logo is these are are these the same okay yeah they they're they are leather but they these are a lot firmer i don't know if it's maybe the paint or the way they finish them Yeah, okay. So, yes, they are leather. They are a lot thicker, though, than the ones on the Oxblood. And, of course, it's got the rivet detailing in it. And then those are the little metal pieces. So, these are the equivalent to the bows on the other one. But I really like the detailing in this one. And I could pair gold or silver accessories with this or black to bring kind of the pair together. Yes, yeah, I do think it, it has a little bit more pearlized finish to it. It's not, at least the front doesn't appear to be a flat gray. But now the back, well, no, it does have a little bit of a metallic finish to it. Um, there we go. Hmm. Me too, M's. I like the gray one best. I, I love the detailing in this one. I've got a couple of gold Coach and Kate Spade pieces. I also have both a gold and a silver Carrington from Dooney. I've got the Boysenberry, which is pulling the purple plum colors out of these little rivet flathead disc pieces 
And those have, oh, 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 oh. Okay, remember two Christmases ago when Coach during the holidays did the, I think it was called metallic wine. And it had like a gallery pouch and there were a couple wallets. There were uh, gallery totes. I picked up a metallic piece then. Uh, I think it was a gallery, and I think that's going to go perfectly with this. So I could use either one as a wallet or as a catch-all and then repurpose the other item in the bag. I think that will be perfect with this one. Oh, look. Okay. Can y'all see that little bit of... Where did it go? Oh, right here. <laughs> I'm looking at it in reverse. But you see the little braiding whip stitch detailing here? They have that there. And they have it here. And that is... It's just as much 3D as these other pieces on here. This is a really nice piece. And, do you see that? There's like a little bit of suede peeking out in those, I think it's just those two spots. So, like, in, in the places where there's, like, in between, there's, like, little bits of suede. It could be velvet. It looks like suede. It feels like suede. But there's a lot going on on this one. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So, here we go. I guess it's got some little flowers that are in the metallics as well. So, two Nolita 19s and three double zip wallets. This color is getting even more interesting every time i put it up under the lights i'm seeing it's almost bronzy i'm gonna play around with this one so three can y'all see the metallic in that now under the lights please tell me i'm not crazy <laughs> all right and then the last one is the letter varsity large uh, or letter varsity crossbody. So, the good news is everything is still here. Nothing walked out of the front door. And um, I should always follow my first mind and either put a reminder in my phone or not hide stuff because when I hide it clearly, I'm hiding it from myself so I'm not gonna keep you long tonight because I need to bring my stress level back down because I was literally freaking out thinking did they walk out of this house with my stuff and it completely got past me um, so now I probably need to decompress from all of that so um, please make sure that you hit the thumbs up if you have not already done so um, whether you are in the chat or watching on replay, I'd love to see um, what your favorite accessory piece is from tonight's accessory haul because I literally not only lost my mind when I saw some of these pieces, but I also lost my mind in this house just a short 35 minutes ago um, trying to find them. 
So we will be back together on Mrs. Q's channel. Are we together, Mrs. Q? I know she's probably driving. So I'm going to say yes, we will be back together on Mrs. Q's channel on Friday for For Real Friday at 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central. If for some reason she's not able to make it, follow her uh, community tab. She will do a posting there. She always does. Um, I am going to... Um, yeah, it's... It's time I get organized and have things in its rightful place. This was absolute proof of all of that. Um, my final one, again, thank you to Suz. I think this is going to work with so many of the pieces that I have. Look at that, because even here, there's purple in the butterfly. There's a little bit of purple in the flowers on the back. And here we go. That's perfect. Look at that. Alrighty, ladies, that is it. We're cutting it short tonight because I was late. But um, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, share, Comment, and if you have not yet subscribed, I ask that you kindly do so. Have an amazing week, and until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care. Happy birthday, Miss Angie.